But if you also want to listen to the rest of the show, the bumper edition, click in the card above our heads or you can download in the most audio platforms below the show. Uh, but for the rest of the people who watch on YouTube, you can watch our bite-sized reviews and uh, we'll be taking your clips and uh, a lot of questions in this second half of this show from some familiar faces that we spoke to over this season. And once again, this episode is sponsored by OneFootball. And do make sure you check out the excellent free OneFootball app to keep up to date, the first to know of all the latest transfer news, stats, scores, all in one place. To download the OneFootball app, click the link in the description. So moving on then to our most improved player. And, you know, it is fair to say that uh, almost half the team has reacted and improved under Ralph Hasenhutl. Mm. But we have a clip here from the host of the Total Saints podcast, Ben Stanfield. The most improved player, for me, it has to go to James Ward-Prowse. Look, I know he's played over 250 games in the Premier League for Saints. He's a very experienced player, but there's undoubtedly we've seen him progress to a different level in the second half of this season. He scored some wonderful goals, some vital goals. He, we've seen him battling in midfield, winning the ball back, creating goals. His set pieces are obviously one of the best in the league. You know, we know that Prowse has had ability. I think the thing with him has always been getting that consistency, but he's been one of the leaders on the pitch. And there's no doubt for me that Ralph Hasenhutl will be looking to build his team over the next two, three years around people like Nathan Redmond, pierre Emil Hoiberg and James Ward-Prowse. So, Prowse, well done. You get my Most Improved Player of the Season award. So, a nomination then to uh, to James Ward-Prowse from Ben. Um, and like I said at the top of the clip there, um, it, you know, it, this could go to anybody. You know, uh, Ben has nominated James Ward-Prowse, but I'd like to nominate, uh, you know, Nathan Redmond, Jan Valery, Jan Bednarek. Who would you like to nominate? Oh, the Jans. Yeah. Oh, Yannick. The Jans. Yannick. Yannick. <laughs> Yannick is, hey, mate. From when he came in, the first few games, he's improved massively, mm. massively. We missed him at the end of the season, obviously, because of his um, injury. injury problems. Yeah. Jan Bednarek as well. He, he, I, I can remember the guys, some of my mates saw him in a friendly at Brentford and they said, oh, my God, what have we signed here? Mm. You know, and, and then he took a long time to, to make the breakthrough. Got those goals against Chelsea, was it? Two goals? On his it? Premier remember. League debut, in fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but... I just think he had such a good World Cup and I was mystified how he wasn't featuring at the start of the season. I kind of get this thing that players need breaks. I think you, you just look at um, the De Bruyne, you know, he's at City, sometimes players just get burnt out. Mm. But I thought Bednarek had to be in the starting lineup. But yeah, as Ben mentions there, James Ward-Prowse has really nailed it the second half of the season. Every time he gets the ball 25, 30 yards out, you know there's a chance of a goal. Every time we get a free kick, you know there's a chance of a goal. But Nathan Redmond, my God, what a turnaround. Mm. What an amazing turnaround. This guy who some fans were absolutely screaming at and, and slagging off. and Berating, saying, always a scapegoat oh, last season. never make a player as this, that and the other. And Yeah, completely. And, and the start of this season. You know, but what a turnaround. So... For me, Ben, I, I agree with what you're coming with, with James Ward-Prowse. I've always rated that lad, and, and I've always believed he's had it in him, and he's shown it. But with Nathan, it's been incredible turnaround. Mm. He's in the England squad. I yeah. so, is James. so is James. So is James. Yeah. But James has kind of been on the periphery before, mm. I think, um, and certainly all the way through his youth season, as, as did and Nathan played a lot for the under-21s, but... Typical me, I'm there the Uddersfield game saying, well, there's nothing much happening in this game. <laughs> Five seconds later, Nathan's put it in the top corner. Yeah. And it was probably the one moan at the class in that game. So he's got that in his locker. And I think we can see a lot more of that. Yeah, I think it has to be said. The signs were there last summer. Nathan Redmond went over to you know the, the States, went over there for, there for a couple of weeks with his friends and a bit of a fitness camp, but stayed on to do his own individual regime okay. to, to get his head that. down from there. And you know the signs were there whilst uh, Mark Hughes was here, but never really kind of clicked. Didn't really get on the score. He offered too much assist, but the yeah. signs were there. And he was still picking up man matches. And you know it has to be said about James Will Prowse. Hardly featured in the first half of the season. No, indeed. Uh, it didn't even feature in the first few games under Ralph indeed. around Christmas so time. So what's the qualification? Most improved players second half of the season or through? I don't know. So for me, it's it's Nathan. Um, very, very close with, with James. Nathan Redmond's been dynamic. And I think it says it all that defenders fear him now. The mm. minute he gets that ball under control, you see them backing off. Mm. You see the space opening up. And that's great for Saints because he can bring the other guys in. 
So I'm, I'm really looking forward to what he can do next season when we make our amazing £100 million pound signings. <laughs> so. um, one thing to add to that, in fact, we saw at the end of the season Nathan Redmond playing in central positions. You know, he's yeah, always been sort of uh, pi- friend, pigeonholed as a, as a winger. As our now. dear friend Mr. Puel used to try and next, put him in there. Next so. Thierry Henry. Yeah, so, of but, course. Uh, you know, a, a bit like James uh, has finally uh, unlocked his potential. Yeah, indeed.